Hello and welcome to video number seven. Let's talk about video length in more depth. So the big question is how long should your video be? While yes, most folks have said that your video should be short due to attention span. And that's something that we've talked about in the past. And that definitely worked in the past. And that still is true that people's attention span are short. But today, in terms of YouTube, your video length should be longer, and here's why. Did you know that YouTube ranks your video based on how many minutes your viewer watches? We talked briefly about this in video number one, but I want to talk about why that is the case. Statistically speaking, most people that we have found, based on statistics that we have seen in YouTube, most people watch about 50% of a video. Even the people that are interested in a video, they watch 50% of a video. So if that, in this case, is a five minute video, an average viewer is only gonna watch about 2.5 minutes. Now, here's why that is important. If you're competing against someone who has a 30 minute video and their viewers watch 15 minutes, which is about 50%, well, guess what? Even if they can have less viewers than you, they're gonna beat you because they have a longer video. So if you got the 2.5, they've got the 15 minutes, they can send less people and still beat you. And YouTube will favor them in the end. Now that of course is assuming that the views are legitimate and people are actually watching. And that's why user experience is so important. So to give you some real live practical application, let's hop on over to YouTube and I'm gonna show you proof that this works. Okay, so let's take what we learned and what we just discussed and apply it to some real life practical application. So if we head on back over to youtube.com, we type in the keyword instant pot recipes, we can see this one, this one, and this one. So let's go ahead and open these up. So we got this one, this one, and this one. So that's one, two, and three. The first one has about roughly eight minutes or, or nine minutes, we'll say nine minutes. The second one has about 27 minutes. And the third one has about 20 minutes. Okay. So essentially the second and third have about double the amount of time. So like we talked about, most people watch about 50% or less, and then they quit. That's the average, right? So if that's the case, this person here, even though they have more views, see that 800,000 views, even though they have more views, they're competing with somebody with a 30 minute video. Essentially it's 27 or 28, but close to 30. So if we round that, we'll just say this is 10, this is 30, and this is 20. All right, so let's keep it at even numbers. So if that's the case, there's four minutes here, 15 minutes here, and 10 minutes here. So this means that the person with the less amount of minutes they're gonna need a lot more views and a lot more people watching it. So in total, if this person has, obviously this person's number one, but what I'm saying here is because YouTube looks at how many minutes are watched, if this person had 800,000 views and this person had only half of that amount, but had more than double this amount, this person right here would most likely rank higher. So see that? Only 100,000 views, 15 minutes. This one here, 20 minutes, only 6,000 views. So you might ask, well, shouldn't this be maybe number one? Not necessarily. If we really look at it, so we've got 800 times four minutes, and that's not gonna be exact. I mean, we could even take 500. And this is definitely gonna be number one. And this is definitely gonna be number two based on the information. 
But this person, because they have a long enough video, even though they have less amount of views, they're still able to rank pretty high. So this is based on one of our YouTube channels, which has over you know, nine millions of minutes watched. And based on that, that's what we've seen. Now, there's other factors like likes, dislikes, comments, and other things like that, titles and descriptions. But that's a big, big, huge ranking factor because it legitimately tells Google and YouTube, hey, this YouTube video is legit. Not only people are clicking on it, they're actually viewing it. And they're viewing at least about 50% on average. So that's why the video length is important. Now, you don't want to make a long video just to make a long video. You might want to make a video that has really good content. And that's the goal. It's not based on spammy backlinks or anything like that. It's based on providing real value. 